Hello everyone, you welcome to the Lera Studios. This is Android Programming. Uh, we'll be looking at the Android external custom fonts for TextView. In a nutshell, if you want to use a different font family for your um, text representation in Android application, uh, you can change from the default um, text for Android. You can download some other types of fonts stylish fonts or a custom made font you know there's a website called 101 101 free fonts let's quickly go to the website and get to see some beautiful fonts 101 free Our free fonts. Free fonts. That's come. Okay. Let's get to see some fonts that we can use in some mobile projects. Okay. Have a mouthful types of fonts here for particularly you can decide to pick wolf this is bakery with the ks poster you can go there and download some juicy fonts that you want to use in your mobile application I actually downloaded three from this website now we'll be using those fonts in android mobile application so let me take you straight down to my ID, the Android Studios, for you to see in particularly how it can be done. Okay. While developing an Android app, you, know, you might you might have seen the need to use a custom font, definitely for views or widgets which holds text content like text view, button and for some special purposes. So in this tutorial we will we'll look at the external typeface fonts. You know, we place them in the asset folder which is right in the source directory. The main the asset folder. This folder is where the downloaded um, font Lies. I downloaded Dragon Motion Picture Poster. Create a directory in there so you keep those fonts typeface into it. Now let's quickly go to the styles.xml that sits in the rest. The layout. Okay, that's the activity main. The menu do we, okay. The styles dot XML sits in the value. Okay. You have to declare a parent theme, which is the app compact light dark action bar. That's the action bar we are using at this moment we declare android layout width to match the parent the height the text size of the particular text you are displaying in the emulator or in your application the layout margin so there's a dimension xml to also sit in the value the activity horizontal margin the vertical margin the size of the text and some margin at the top. Now we move to the XML layout, which is the main layout of the application. Look at the activity main XML, which is going to be the, the, the UI of the of the home page. Let's go to the text interface. Now it's calling the main activity class as a text view with a text called the Leroy Studios. Just three text views were created. 
can see it's just three text views were created in a million layout uh, UI. So that is for the activity main layout. So each ID was given to them for them to record in the Java file. So we actually keep our fonts in the custom fonts folder which I showed earlier so that's fine so we'll be moving straight to the Java the Java class what is actually displaying and the, the logic of the application the Java is right there class which has the package of the package name the Larizos font and an import was made for typeface because that is what's going to call the custom font you know, the normal support of the uh, app compact activity which is the UI of the uh, Android application now there's a class called the, the main activity which it extends app compact activity with three fields which are private and they are of text format the class on create protected and is overriding the uh, the parent class there is a class called init views which will be created after the typeface fields have been declared to hold each custom font file the one the two and the, and the three so the class init preview init views has three variables that are holding the uh, input you know which is from the text view and the text the, the first the second the third which is actually declared in the string uh, dot XML you know, the input of the word the uh, studios just for us to see the uh, the type uh, and the, the font being used on those string values now it's a short one and you can use it you know, to decorate some of the question in your application and you can you can you can use it to to improve your UI of your fonts and text. Now let's quickly launch it and see how it's been displayed. The short one. You can also find the source code in my GitHub account. It's right shown on your screen. So it's um it's trying to build it's building up already. We have one uh, Gini Motion uh, emulation, which is to display our mobile application. Okay, let's do it by the right kernel. Let's have it. Wow! Can you see different types of font family in Android application? So you can use it. You can use it for the header. You can use it for button. You can use it, you know, to improve the the presentation of your uh, Android application, the three different uh, fonts uh, we downloaded from 101 fonts, Dragon, Motion Play, and Poster. Oh, uh, thank you very much for listening, and still continue to stick with Delara Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are lots of mobile uh, programming tutorials in it. Take care. Bye bye.